All right, this is a review of The Permanent Record by Edward Snowden. He is this typical American guy. He worked for the NSA, the National Security Agency, as well as others, such as the CIA. Just think about government agencies. He's primarily known for the whistleblower, for spying on American citizens and revealing the government's aggressive data tactics to acquire information. In other words, mass surveillance. And it's said to be a biography or memoir, and we could all learn from this. He's a computer wizard, a heavy reader. This book questions liberty and privacy, such as what the Constitution of the United States reveals. What is more important as well as understanding that relationship? There is always that temptation to spy and control, or to just know. He spent 40 days stuck in an airport in Russia after the U.S. government caught on, and where its web starts to reveal itself. The process to exposing crucial info and the backlash. A volcano just waiting to happen. Edward talks about the dullness of government land and those in close proximity, such as, for instance, say if you're in New York, you have to deal with financial people. If you're in Silicon Valley, you gotta deal with nerds. The Midwest, you gotta deal with farmers or whatever. Real families. And the whole process that he revealed is the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing at any moment. And understand that as a government relationship, how the chambers and the chain of command is set up. They were capturing data like a flytrap. Snowden even shares his diary accounts that his wife wrote with the adventures of dealing with government and him being outcasted. And who is Snowden? Why even consider them? Is he a criminal? Is he in it for fame? And he did set up this book to make it very relatable. And is that true or not? I do think it's true, but you can figure out for yourself. The co-writer helped him convince it to humanize it. The editors, the journalists, and friends helped him and gave him advice on his journey. He mentions Huffy, Mario, Duck Hunt, Double Dragon, Street Fighter. These bring back big memories for me. Also a hooking up joke, only readers will get this. There's humor in it. Information wants to be free. Snowden speaks. It even shares his life about being afraid of being rejected. And he shares his techniques and strategies for capturing data from the government with micro SD cards and putting it in hiding places. He even used the example of under the sticker of a Rubik's cube is where he could hide the SD card. Or even a shoe or sock and how he would enter and exit from government facilities. There was very eloquent writing on the whistleblower chapter. Leakers and what does that mean and how does that translate into other languages, whether it be leaked, wind, steam. Very good writing. And he's much more human than WikiLeaks' Julian Assange. And I do like, he does give an example of what he thinks about him. He kept the Constitution at his desk. Many are to protect the government from getting too strong. The balance will always go toward freedom. And he does describe the way the cold pitching of Russians to get that data or to use that data to trade. And the book redeems his efforts of, I don't want to profit off this. I'm doing what is right. The leaks, the drama. Is he in it for the fame? He just looks like a nerd doing the right thing. Another topic is understanding government of not knowing what they are doing. They will delay, deny, cover up, calming effect, just like an insurance company. Make the rules to benefit themselves. A bigger and badder government, just in case. They create the gateless gate. There's disinformation and propaganda, as well as propaganda to trump that propaganda. There's a chain of command and obedience, or in PC speak, or boring talk, the proper channels. Follow the code of the proper channels. It's very slick. Public disasters help the elites. So pursue self-reliance. There is safety versus self-expression, and that can keep you from being not creative. The bureaucracy, and all that time that we spend dealing with that shit. And other topics, in my opinion, on this book are, look at the speed of tech and data acquisition, how they are able to get that. I mean, there's so much data out there. And I would concentrate on the read, write, execute chapter in this book. Ultimately, you want to take action, execute. I have not seen the Joe Rogan interview he did recently. I will put a link down below to that and check all the other links. And my last thoughts are, he's very human. As I said before, he's just a nerd trying to do the right thing. He escaped to the outside. And it's something we got to respect the sacrifice or sacrifices people do. Whoever takes risks is the person who gets the attention, who lives an interesting life. Beat the game when the game is cryptic. Understand and respect the counterforce. Everyone can be redeemed. And get ready for the smear campaign. It's control versus freedom. Most people imprison themselves. There's no discipline, no risk. You have to take it if you want freedom.